So I feel like there should be a kind of diagram that shows that as the um, security or as the complexity of a topic goes up, the interestingness in a YouTube video goes down. Uh, I think this video is a great example of that because it's a really important topic. I think a lot of people should be doing it. We'll get to that in a second, but it's probably not the most interesting thing. So bear with me in this video, but uh, in the end, you will see kind of the benefit of everything that I'm talking about. Before this video begins, I do want to quickly mention that I am offering IT consulting. So if you're doing products relating to Ubiquity, Proxmox, uh, WireGuard, Free Radius, Linux, whatever, you know the deal. Um, hit me up in the description below. I'm happy to help out with your projects. Um, my rate is pretty low. I am still learning and um, I think I would be a valuable addition to your project. So please, please hit the link down below and uh, let's get connected. So uh, let's begin here with the Cloudflare diagram. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Cloudflare um, SSL and TLS encryption to kind of authenticate the connection between Cloudflare and your origin server. So um, in Cloudflare, there's a couple steps to the process when a HTTP request is made. Um, for example, um, it's gonna go from your client, your browser to a Cloudflare server, do some processing there, uh, and then from there, it'll hit your origin server. Now, Cloudflare is kind of intercepting the traffic, um, but this is in comparison to kind of you going directly to the origin server. So um, Cloudflare is kind of being a middleman here in the sense that it is adding a lot of benefit. Uh, you can do a lot with Cloudflare. You can do kind of um, custom website hosting with them. You can do uh, DNS, that's what I'm using them for a lot. You can do uh, caching improvements. So you can cache your website on Cloudflare's edge servers. You can do all kinds of security um, and firewall rules with your website, etc. cetera. Um, a lot of stuff Cloudflare does. Um, today I'm going to show you kind of the SSL and TLS encryption. So like I said earlier, there's a connection between Cloudflare and your origin server that is typically unencrypted. Um, so your browser is encrypted to Cloudflare, of course, through a HTTPS certificate. Um, but from there, it's kind of exposed. Um, you can think of this like if you're shipping a package, um, the package, um, if it's in a mail truck that's completely wide open, um, anybody can grab it, look at it, etc. This would be kind of in one of those uh, like Brinks trucks that kind of collects the money. There's the security guard there. There's kind of the, the beefiness of the truck. Anyways, uh, this is kind of similar to that in the sense that the package or um, data in this case is encrypted between Cloudflare and the origin servers. So let's go through the process of setting this up. The first thing you're going to need uh, in this process is you're going to need a certificate between um, Cloudflare and your origin server. So you're going to go over here to origin server and you'll see down here um, we do have a lot of origin certificates. So uh, we're going to create one right here um, and we're going to create one with the host names of beamnet.works and beamnet.works. Um, essentially, what this process is going to do is it's going to generate a certificate for you to use on your web server. Um, in this video, I am going to be using Nginx, so if you're not uh, using Nginx, this may not be the best video for you, but you will get the benefit of understanding how the Cloudflare origin server stuff works, and that's very important. So I would recommend watching. Um, anyways, so in the origin certificate installation steps, you'll see it's going to generate you a private key in a CSR with Cloudflare using RSA 2048. Um, and you're gonna select your host names that you want. So you could do this for any domain that you have. You could do it for any subdomain you have, etc. cetera. Um, in this case, I'm going to do it for the entire beamnet.works domain that I own. And I'm going to do this for 15 years. I'm gonna click create down in the bottom corner. So it's essentially, it's going to create these certificates. Um, and over on Nginx, I don't wanna forget about this part. You are going to want to make a directory that is etc slash Nginx slash certs. Um, this is what I've done and I kind of like it because then I can make a um, new folder for um, each domain that I own, you'll see I've done one right here uh, previously with beamnetworks.dev, uh, but I also own beamnet.works. So um, essentially if I go into beamnet.works, uh, then I have a open folder that I can use to make these files. So basically now I'm going to make a new file <laughs> that is called beamnet.works.pem. Uh, and this is going to be our first file here, the origin certificate from Cloudflare. Um, of course, I am going to have to blur this out. Um, I would apologize, but I don't really apologize. It's in the benefit of my security. So uh, I'm gonna copy the other one too, and we're gonna do the same file, uh, but we're gonna do .key and then .pem, um, and we'll paste the contents in there as well. So what we have now is we have two files. We have a .pem, I guess they're both, okay, fine. What we what we have now is we have a file that is a .pem and a .key.pem file. So we have two files, obviously, thank you. So uh, next we'll click okay, just kind of getting out of that screen. Essentially all we've done here is just generate some certificates. So what we can do with those certificates is go into our Nginx config. So I'm gonna go, I'm going to go to etc nginx sites enabled beamnet.works. 
etc. You'll see I'm proxy passing this domain over to the other server that I've got going on. Um, and just so you know, by default on Nginx, we are using port 80. Um, and that's what we will be fixing in this uh, video. So we are going to go to the full strict model of Cloudflare SSL TLS security, which essentially enforces SSL between the origin server and Cloudflare. Like I said earlier, I know it's really repetitive, but I hope this kind of helps break it down. What that entails though on the full strict model is that it's going to require not only port 443 on your origin server, but it's going to require the certificate as well. So that's what we're doing now. There is a flexible model that just requires port 80 open on your origin server. Um, there's a full model, a non-strict model, which essentially means I don't think you need a certificate. Um, obviously it is highly recommended to have a certificate. I would recommend doing it. Um, there's no reason not to, it's really easy. So um, let's do that. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to say listen um, 443 and we'll say SSL just saying that we are going to be listing on that port that we do want to have SSL and I'll leave the server name um, actually we'll do we'll move it down a little bit and then we'll put all of our stuff here so we're going to do a SSL certificate um, and we're going to point this to etc nginx certs on beamnet.works remember that's the domain this is going to be different for your domain um, and then we're going to go to beamnet.works.pem Again, that's just that .pem file that we have. Um, and next, we're also going to do this, but with the .key file in, of course, over here at the beginning, we're going to change this to the underscore key. So basically, we're having we're mapping two files um, in our Nginx config. We are mapping the origin certificate as well as the key for that certificate. Um, and then next, we're going to do SSL underscore verify, um, op, or sorry, client optional. And then we're also going to add SSL client uh, certificate. And I'm gonna copy this because I'm tired of typing. Um, and we're gonna map this to etc nginx search cloudflare.cert. So there is a model that is above the um, full strict and that is a strict SSL only origin pool. Um, this is going to just, at the end of the day, completely enforce the um, traffic between Cloudflare and your origin to be fully, fully, fully encrypted um, regardless of your visitor's request. The full strict model is Almost there, not quite there. Uh, next, we're going to map the Cloudflare origin certificate authority into there. That is the cloudflare.cert file. So that is actually available on their website. They do post that online for you to be able to use. Um, I will link that down in the description below. Essentially, you just wanna grab the contents of that file and I can actually show you. Um, and you want to paste them in there. It'll look just like a certificate file. Paste them into that search slash cloudflare.cert file. Okay, so what we've done here is we just mapped in all the certificate files, the SSL listen directive in the Nginx config. Um, and you can, if you do have port 80 in your Nginx config, just delete it. You don't need it anymore. Um, you shouldn't be using it anyways. So um, now what we can do, we're gonna do a sudo Nginx-t that is going to tell us that the test is successful. And um, then I'm going to clear my screen because it did show some domains there, of course, because they failed the test. Anyways, anyways, uh, let's run service Nginx reload Keep in mind, I am in the root user, so you will have to use sudo if you are not in your root user. Um, but anyways, that basically just means now we can go to full strict. If you go down and click save, we should be good to go. I'm going to open up a incognito window. Um, and this domain specifically actually is a redirect domain. So any uh, request you make to beamnet.works is going to redirect to my main website. Um, but it would fail if the SSL settings are wrong. So I guess I can demo that here. I can demo that here by running uh, Beam Networks, as you can see with a bunch of slashes there, so it redoes the request. Um, obviously, it does point me back to Beam Networks dev, which means we were successful. So that is great. This is one step to increase the security, but there's a lot of other things that you should do as well. Um, with that being said, that is pretty much all you need to do. So essentially what we've done today is we ensured that not only is the connection from the client, um, computer, phone, whatever, that is encrypted between the client and Cloudflare, but it's also encrypted between the Cloudflare and the origin server. So it is encrypted everywhere, preventing man in the middle attacks on your domain. Um, obviously, if you have stuff on your back end on your domain that's gonna like reach out to another endpoint, there could be uh, other sources of uh, man in the middle attacks, but this video specifically is doing it from the web request level on the, um, not, I, don't, I don't wanna say DNS level, but it is doing it through Cloudflare, which means it's going to, um, do everything it needs to to encrypt it before it hits your origin server so um yeah that is about all for this video guys i really appreciate you watching i hope this was helpful to you um, this is something i've never thought about doing before um but i'm glad i did because now i can rest assured knowing that my security on my website is higher than it was 10 minutes ago thank you guys for watching have a great day i'll see you all in the next video